people are going to start to watch us. I'm still eating. You're still eating? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's Mrs. Hill. Good morning. So I'm guessing the Hill kids are there. Maybe some of them. Maybe the ones who woke up early. All right, we've got a few people watching. Good morning. Who else just joined? Let's see. Oh, the Johnston girls. Good morning. All right, do you guys have something to draw with? I was hoping that I could Why do... Why can we not see them? They can see us, but we can't see them. Why? Because that's how this works. So I was hoping that I could do my live video on my computer and still use my phone to do a time lapse of this, but... Um, my computer was having a hard time connecting. So thanks for your patience, everybody. Good morning. So Maggie woke up early, so she's joining us as well. So uh, we have whiteboards in our house. So we like to draw on whiteboards so that we don't waste a lot of paper. And then if we love what we drew, then we take a picture and we can keep it forever. So I've got my whiteboard this morning and um, I just finished my morning yoga. And now I'm having some morning snuggles and we're going to do a little mandala drawing. Are you guys ready? So this is pretty simple and Maggie's got her own whiteboard if she wants to join us too. So we're going to start with just a little circle in the middle. Super simple. Just like this. Tiny circle so we have plenty of room for layers on the outside. Then I like to do just a little layer next. This is kind of like the pupil and the iris of the eye. Since we're talking about an eye, why don't we do some radiating lines. There, it looks kind of like a wheel. And then another one. Mm, my circle is not perfect. It looks a little bit more like an egg. That's okay. This is the other reason I like dry erase boards. It's because I can just wipe and correct if I want to. Now it's wobbly, but it's a little more circular. All right, my intention that I set this morning was light. So I'm, I'm liking the sun image. So I'm gonna keep going with the sun image. So I'm gonna start with some um, nice big flame shapes today. Wondering if you can see that. They also look like petals in mandalas as well as in art. What are you making? I'm making a sun shape mandala. There are no wrong answers. All right, I ended up with a little space that was like half of what I need. So that's okay. I'm going to make it work. And then since I have that space a little squished, I'm going to go ahead and make another layer in between. So I'm going in between these. If this shape is kind of hard for you to make, you can just make bumps. Yours probably look different than mine, and that's okay, right? All right, I need to mix it up a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do is draw some wavy lines in my big ones. Sorry, I've got a little glare there from my light. And Maggie's looking for her oatmeal underneath the board. All right, and I think what I'm gonna do is maybe some straight lines in some of the others. I'll get a little glow from my computer screen there. I was trying to keep it kind of dark in here, but that might be 
interfering with your viewing. Okay. Okay, are you gonna draw? <coughs> Bless you. Hopefully that wasn't an oatmeal sneeze. All right, you gonna draw? I think I'm gonna switch here. This marker is a little funky. Pick whatever color you want, Maggie. All right, how are we doing? Are we feeling centered? This is how I like to start my day, after my yoga. It's a really nice way to just calmly center and focus. All right, I added another circle there, and now I'm gonna add a row of petals. This is a big, bumpy line. If you're working flat on the table, unlike me, you can easily turn your board or your paper around to make your drawing a little bit more radially symmetrical. Hi. Am I in your way, Maggie? Yeah. yeah. past two mornings I've been doing these and I've been adding a little dot inside the petals. I like that how that looks. So I'm going to do that again. What do you think, Max? Good. Yeah? I love this time of morning. It's so quiet, even if Maggie wakes up and sits in my lap. It's really peaceful. We often sit in the kitchen where we can see the sunrise. Sometimes we call it rainbow sherbet. I like how that looks. Hmm, I wonder what else you guys are adding. Are you adding anything of your own flavor? Fun. Okay, now I'm gonna add uh, big petals that, that span two little petals. All right, I can't wait to see your pictures of these. So if you are working on dry erase boards, don't forget to take a picture before you erase. And maybe just um, put them in the comments of the video, if you can do that, so we can all share. Oh, this one's a little different. So every day I start out the same way and they always end up a little bit different. Just like our days, right? They all start the same way. And they all end up being their own unique thing. Okay, look what happened here. I ended up with half a space again. Maggie's coming on in. Well, let's see. I can't wait to see what you guys do if you have a little bit of extra <coughs> space. You all right? I'm just gonna make a smaller one. Looks pretty pretty okay. All right. I feel like it needs one more element. I was thinking sun, wasn't I, at the beginning of this because my intention was light today. So I think I'll do some, um, some rays coming out. Now that Maggie's fully in my lap, let's see if we can do this. How's this? All right. So I'm gonna do a curvy line coming out, kind of like a stem, and then another one beside it, and then connect it at the top. And like that, I'm gonna do that in each space between the big petals. I oh, mean, nice, Maggie. Goofy. I love it. That is goofy, isn't it? I love his eyes. Oh. Oh. That was a wavy one. I may have to take a break from you, you guys watching, so I can finish this. Then I'll show you. So what I like about mandalas is that 
we can all start out together and then for our own comfort zone we can follow along which is what you were probably doing and then maybe really quickly you veered off and started doing your own thing which is a great metaphor for life and you can see that hopefully that what you did is uniquely you I like it makes me feel centered and light and ready for the day I can't wait to see yours hopefully you um, are still working a little bit maybe adding to it that's great okay and have some cheeks oh it I has really cheeks make a Big. All right, and if you're drawing goofy with cheeks, that's okay too, because in art there are no wrong answers. I miss everybody. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that you are starting to find a, a schedule and a groove that um, makes you feel really satisfied and great through these days, so... All right, thanks everybody for joining us. I hope you have a great day.